Hey, ho, let's go. How you doing everybody? Welcome to another vlog. Vlog. Yay, another one, another one. Um, yeah, I just wanted to, I wasn't going to make a vlog today actually. Um, I was just not going to bother today, but, but I wanted to talk about kind of like within the news. I know I apologise, you know. <laughs> it's been on the news all day. People are getting bored of the news and stuff that's going on in the world. Some people are interested, but there's a lot of people that are kind of sick of hearing about certain things. Um, but um, including myself. But um, but no, something kind of interesting in the news. Were, well, broke. Well, actually, it was yesterday, wasn't it? Um. Yeah, it was yesterday that this news broke and uh, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Boris, uh, yes, him, that one, um, basically he, um, obviously he was addressing uh, Parliament um, and obviously um, announcing at about 7 o'clock yesterday evening the plans going forward with exiting hopefully exit, exiting the lockdown or what other measures um that may may happen, I don't know. But um it's but there's some dates some actual dates um that uh, came out of it. Uh one date is obviously pubs and restaurants well pubs can open but it's you know you got a um, what was it? Pub yeah pubs pubs yeah, pubs can trade or open serve serve the public whatever but it has to be in, in a beer garden. You can't go inside so kind of a stupid thing but it is what it is. Um, but then obviously in May. Uh, so that was I think April twelfth or something like that. I think it is that. You can go into a beer garden and be served legally. Um, and then obviously May is when they are apparently, hopefully, going to be fully open. So you can actually go in, in and have a meal or whatever. Um, and then there's uh, there's also another date, which is, I think, the 21st of June. Hopefully everything can start to reopen. Other businesses... Pubs, restaurants, cafes, what have you, everything can start to reopen and hopefully that will be that will be it. That will be finally kind of uh, starting to go to a path of recovery, hopefully. It's going to take a long time, it's going to take quite a while for things to recover completely. Well, not completely, I don't think there's ever going to be a complete recovery. Um, but we're going to have to start moving in a certain, certain way. Uh, certain companies that haven't been able to trade, haven't been be making any money, that you know they're gonna have to really start to try and get something in order to keep their businesses afloat, like people that are working for themselves. Um, you know, unfortunately, a lot of people do. You know, with the whole failure thing, you know, people working for themselves. You know, unfortunately, a lot of people have already lost the lost their jobs. Um, and uh, whoever else has managed to somehow survive up till now, you know, they are it's like a lifeline being handed to them with having a date, even though it's still quite a few months away. But we've got June 21st as a hopeful kind of things can start to reopen and we can actually go and see family, spend time with friends, and actually. Do something where we feel like we're doing something normal. Um, you know, I am looking forward to that. Now, I don't think TFN is going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen as well. I, I mean, obviously this is speculation on my part. I obviously don't know what conversations have taken place between Billy and Dave and the rest of the TFN crew. Um... Obviously, it won't be able to happen. Obviously, TFN won't be able to happen as as it usually is. If they do, if the if they're planning something for August, 
because if if we because it's they also mentioned events as well such as conventions and uh, concerts festivals things of that nature that are after June uh, June the 21st um, they could be allowed to, to happen as well so the ones that are latter end of the year uh, so like comic cons and things of that nature will poss possibly be able to be you know, allowed to happen um, hopefully if things you know, don't get any worse in the coming months up to that point but uh, it is encouraging it's good news it's encouraging news for me personally other people probably I can understand there will be an essence of caution still I completely get that because obviously even the the government are allowing there will be hopefully will be in a bit more freedom uh, than what we have been before or, or, or have been for a while now for the past year Um. You know, it will be nice. You know, some people of no, I was trying to say, no, no. Um, some people will be finding it difficult to readjust back to being normal. You know, there's no, there's no such thing as normal, really. But you know what I mean. Um, you know that thing, normality. You know, you you are going to get an essence where people are still going to be wearing face masks. That's going to still be a thing throughout 2021. I can assume. Um, you know, people are going to be like that. I think even going into 2022, you're still going to get the odd person that may have real, you know, m might feel that a little bit paranoid still by it. And they may decide to, you know, start wearing face masks, even though everything's back reopened again and trading. Um, well, that's each to their own. If they want to do that, that's fine. That's that's them. Um, but no, it's gonna be. It'll be nice because I'm hoping as well. Uh, I'm hoping with you know with how it's bloody hell, it's really windy outside, and all I can hear is woo through the freaking through the wind. It's so windy today. It's unbelievable. Um. But yeah, so like I was trying to say is what I would like to try and do is to try and salvage something from this year. Um, I know this year it's still early. We're early in February, uh, so it's still relatively early. And this news of us coming, hopefully coming out of it completely by on the 21st of June is very, very surprising to me. Um, obviously, a lot of people wasn't expecting this news. Or that type of um, that type of statement or thingy coming from Boris Johnson, people weren't expecting it. Certain companies that have unable have been unable to run their businesses efficiently, they they will be well they'll be welcoming this so that they can start trading and make some money. Um, but it's you know I don't know it's. That, that, you know, that they'll be welcoming it, you know, welcoming that with open arms, um, which I can understand, and yeah. <laughs> um, but at the same time, I think what I would like to try and do, hopefully, from the 21st of June, is maybe, not, well, not on the 21st of June, you know what I mean? I mean, some point, you know, from that point on, you know, later on in the year, whatever. Hopefully, if nothing else happens, touch wood, um, that nothing happens. But uh, you know, it'd be, it'd be nice to um, salvage and do something. Um, I mean, originally the, my plans this year, I was hoping to do download festival in June. And that's possible now. Even though I have no idea if it's been greenlit or not, or if it's been postponed or what, but Glastonbury has. Um, I'll have to do some research um, and see if it, you know, and just see if it has been done or not. Um, if it has been cancelled, because June is is Download Festival, but it's early June, so it's liable not to happen. Because obviously, like I said, it's twenty first of June. 
um, when uh, that they're talking about at the moment. Um, so obviously, Download Festival is like within the first week. It's like within the first, within the first. What was it? Yeah, it's like within the first week going into the second week of June. So that obviously is before when this all is supposed to kick off and come in. So it's liable not to happen that, that download festival. But the other thing was obviously TFN. But um, I don't think it's going to happen. Obviously, I don't think it's going to happen as the event as we know. Uh, no, it has. No, it has been. Uh, like with voice actors and comp well, maybe you. I mean, they could do something UK based, but I don't think they'll be able to do anything international. You know, from like America and Canada, because that's usually where the guests come from. Is either America or Canada, uh, or Japan. Some have come from Japan, um, I believe, and. Um, but they could do something UK based at least, like a, a meet up of some kind, maybe, like a TFN official meet up, maybe in Birmingham, maybe at the same hotel. They could do something like that if they wanted, uh, if they can. That is, of course, they'll be uh, looking into it. They'll be looking at their options, what are on the table, um, whether to do another virtual event whether to go forward with something you know to try and help raise money for the convention because otherwise without money they can't run it so you don't know do you there's all these you know with tfn of course billy and everybody they'll be coming up with ideas and looking at you know trying to look at the future and also keeping an eye on the news and announcements um with what's what you know with what's going on but hopefully we'll find out sooner or later um what's going to happen with that whether tfn is 100 percent postponed again until next year or they try and salvage something and we have like a meet up um like an official meet up or something later on in the year maybe in august because ev because most people because i mean i've got august booked off this year I've also got June booked off this year. I've also got some time off, like from uh, from April as well. Um, going into go, yeah, so I've, I've got a few holidays that I've had to book off. Um, I've had to book them off, regardless if I can do it or not. And um, yeah, so well, I'm open to anything really. Um, if the TFN crew decide to do something UK based, like a meet up in August for the dates that a TFN is, then I could hopefully come along to that. Um, I've got no overtime left, not overtime, I've got no holidays remaining, so I can't book anything else off at the moment until uh, oh, April of next year because of the way it's worked with everything. We've had to book off our holidays for the last for last year and this year uh, we've had to book them off really early uh, than normal and uh, obviously my new holiday allowance comes in from April every year so so unfortunately I can't book anything and I can't book any more for this year um, I can start booking from 2022. I can start. I can book a whole year in advance. Um, but uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna book anything too early. I'm just gonna wait and see how the rest of this year pans out. To be honest with you, and see how it goes. But uh, it's encouraging news. It is encouraging news with the dates and with the information that was announced yesterday evening and afternoon. Um, obviously schools will be able to go back as well, which is uh, a relief to many parents out there. And people go back to university and college or whatever you, people can go back to education. And uh, events after June can hopefully start, can actually still happen. Uh, and obviously you can start to maybe go places as well. I don't know about other countries yet, 
because other countries are a different matter. Because you know you you know they're put there will still probably be shut down or locked down. So you, I don't know how it's working. I know America at the moment apparently um, mm-hmm. things are going in a good direction for America at the moment. Uh, apparently they've uh, they've really been banging out those vaccinations, um, and apparently uh, like us. Um, a lot of the issues that was coming from COVID um, have have dropped quite quite considerably. Um, so it looks like America are finally coming into a, an exit as well, hopefully. And uh, but uh, yeah, but I don't know. I don't know how open it will be after June for other countries. But we're only talking about the UK at the moment. But uh, I would like to maybe go for a weekend away sometime, or even a day out somewhere that isn't here. Some people be like, "Well, you could have done that before." No, you can't, because there is uh, travel restrictions in the UK currently. Um, if you go outside of your of a certain radius or miles, um, if you, I mean. The likelihood of everybody being p- uh, pulled over is very unlikely, but at the same time, you don't want to risk it because you will get a hefty fine. Um, every- I think everybody in the car will get a hefty fine, and it's not worth it, really. It's not worth it. Um, so, yeah, it, the, un- the only reason that you can travel, if it's out, if it's f- further if it's quite a travel uh, the only way you can travel at the moment obviously is for work um, I think if you're getting a COVID test um, shopping that's the only way at the moment I think you know if you go to a supermarket but you're not going to go about 10,000 miles or say from Doncaster to Sheffield, you're not going to go the whole duration up from Doncaster to say Sheffield or whatever to go shopping. That you you don't do that, do you? Um, I know Sheffield has Meadowall, but you know what I mean. It's kind of like you're not going to go really quite. You're not going to go far out just to go grocery shopping. You're going to keep local. It makes sense. Um. Anyway. I'm rambling on here. I know I apologise, but uh, but no, I'm quite optimistic now. I'm hoping, and uh, you know, people that are on furlough or whatever at the moment, um, hopefully they can start going back to work again. Um, kids going back to school. Hopefully we can salvage a little bit of this year, and look forward to something at least. Hopefully, um, whatever. You know, I'm just gonna keep my mind. I'm just keep open minded. Uh, I've got time off this year, so we'll see how it goes, how it pans out. Um, and I might maybe go for a day out sometime, somewhere, or stay, you know, get a hotel and stay somewhere for a couple of days. That isn't here. Like even it's just York, and York is only about an hour, not even an hour, about forty five to fifty minutes up the road from me. So even if it's just York and I just go there for a couple of days, it's getting away from the everyday, and it's just escaping what we've what have had to deal with for the for over eight for like everybody else as well. Everyone's had to deal with the same thing. Um, so it'll just be a nice little bit of escapism, and just it'd be nice. I mean, uh, but we'll see. I'll see how it goes. Um. But uh, yeah, that's the vlog for today. So thank you for watching. Sorry it's a little bit all over the place, jumbled up and... (laughs) You know, but anyway. Hopefully you got the point of what I was trying to say with this. But uh, anyway, so stay safe everybody. Hopefully we're on the way out of this whole situation a little bit. But we'll see how it goes. (laughs) We'll see when 21st of June comes and just see what happens there. Uh, but obviously we've got April um, for pubs and such to open, but only for beer gardens. You can only get served in a beer garden, uh, and I think you can. I think you can meet up with uh, some. Uh, I think you can meet up with about five people. I, I could be wrong with this. 
met up with about five people in a private garden. I don't know if that's from, I don't know if that's April or if that's from May. I may be getting mixed up myself there, but uh, but yeah. So we've got June twelfth. Sorry, what am I on about? We've got April twelfth. Then we've got May. Pubs can fully open. Obviously, you know, kids can go back to school. Other businesses. Um, hopefully, other shops can start to open from there. And then June is hopefully the exit uh, out of lockdown. But. Uh, June 21st is hopefully that so that's all I wanted to talk about Express is the news and uh, hopefully we can salvage this year a little bit <sighs> fantastic but anyway so I'm gonna go thank you for watching stay safe and I will see you soon with another vlog bye